Caddis Maximus here, this time with a review of the GC Electronics radio and TV uh, alignment screwdriver set. Now, these obviously aren't as applicable as they used to be, that's for sure. A lot less radio and television, uh, tube type television adjustments are being made. Surprisingly enough, they do have quite a bit of application in, applications in the modern era for minor adjustments on flat screen TVs, although it's, you know, there's not very many. More so when you're calibrating electronics, if you're calibrating a multimeter uh, or any of that kind of stuff or adjusting anything that may have a potentiometer, say a trim pot on a, uh, a temperature sensor. Uh, it's really nice to have these TV and radio rated plastic type tools. A lot of these have metal ends in them, but what they're all designed to do is separate the conductivity of your body from interfering with whatever you're adjusting as well as providing you electrical insulation, especially when you're dealing with television sets, which are maybe high voltages in. And it's really surprising whenever you're adjusting uh, potentiometers and those kind of things. Uh, if you're repairing any kind of uh, audio electronics receivers, then you definitely use these to balance out amplifier channels if you replace transistors or any of that kind of stuff. Um, and what is amazing is even in systems where you don't think that you would have any issues with interference, say just using a normal uh, metal screwdriver such as this, uh, you'd be surprised that you get a little bit different results and seems things seem to work out a little more consistently and seem to maintain their adjustment when you use these kind of specialized tools because it's surprising in those circuits how just a bit of conductivity from your body uh, and a little bit of interference can really uh, throw a lot of precision electronics off balance. It's kind of hard to really describe in the best way. But let's go ahead and take a look at these tools. So these are for adjusting potentiometers. We have a variety of styles. Some common ones such are ones that use hex. And they're ones that are designed just to make it a little more difficult so that you don't adjust them uh, unless you really know what you're doing. So we have one, almost all these are GC, but we have a couple other uh, components like this Heath kit. And what's nice about this one is, and it's kind of hard to see, but it has a two steps of a hex and different sizes on each side. And then this one's nice because it will actually pass through like an opening such as through the back of a circuit board to adjust the potentiometer. And then this is just a single size of the GC. One thing I did want to mention is I really like GC stampings, on, even on all their little tools. Uh, they did put a good effort so that you could have a part number when they strip out because obviously plastic screwdrivers are not the strongest. And I like that it's gold print. Now, these are definitely not meant to turn any kind of metal fasteners. If you ever see these or a little set of these, these are not for working on eyeglasses or anything like that. They're strictly for adjusting potentiometers, excuse me, potentiometers and electronics tuning. Uh, none of these drive ends will take any kind of uh, severe, any kind of real torque. They'll just fall apart. Now, there is just a huge variety. A lot of them are just deep, long slot heads. Some are wider slot heads which is difficult. Some of these are difficult to get out of these pockets in this vinyl case. I'll have to admit that. There's some nicer ones here that have some acetate handles, but it's all plastic. It's just plastic jammed to the acetate. And see, that's a wider one for a large potentiometer. I've used that a few times. This is a long one. This actually has a, uh, a little crossbar in it. I haven't actually run into an adjuster that uses this type of crossbar, but I assume it's there for a reason. And then this is just really long, and these are just flathead screwdrivers, but they're all plastic. And we have large ones here. Small double-ended, and that's what this whole set is. It just gives you this huge variety so you can have just the right size of screwdriver for whatever you're using. This is a nicer one where you may have maybe a real stiff potentiometer, so it does have a metal end, but it's still well insulated and it gives you a matching plastic end so you can maybe break loose the potentiometer with the metal end and then use the plastic end to go ahead and actually adjust it. We have a very interesting tool here when you need to adjust. Sometimes in calibration procedures they'll tell you to turn one potentiometer a, few, a certain number of turns for calibration and it can be sometimes easy unless you're really paying attention using these other screwdrivers how many times you've turned it. This is an adjustment tool that is specifically designed to tell you how many times you've turned it. And that's why it's called a teleturn. Now these style, they have a little metal insert in them. 
but you would never drive screws. Now these type are, that are recessed are more for television because they're extra insulated. There is no exposed piece of metal that may come into contact with anything. Yet yeah, it does have a metal insert so that you can get a better grip on tight potentiometers. So this teleturn, you have to actually uh, hold it pretty well, or firmly I should say. And on the bottom what we have is a zero and a half. And then we have a graduated cylinder that's just been stamped and runs down some threads on the plastic. And what you have is these graduations and these are numbers of turns. So right here, we ha and it has a little metal snap ring as an indicator. Sometimes it's hard, a little hard to see. Uh, they could have made this plastic a little clearer, especially for this type of tool. But when you turn it, there we go. If we turn it 720 degrees, we'll see that we've landed back on zero. And then now the little line is at two and we can see how it unthreaded. And now we know we've actually moved the instrument or the potentiometer two full turns. And so it's kind of a neat tool. And I actually had never th really thought about something like this until I saw it and thought it was a genius idea. Let's go ahead and finish with the last of these tools. Now these yellow tools are more of the heavy duty ones. We have one all one standard metal driver and this is a really small uh, square drive and I'm not exactly sure what that's used for. I haven't used many of these but I figured they'd all be real handy. We do have small screwdrivers like this one. I forgot to mention this. This is one I use a lot. This has a little metal end and it's just a nice fine point screwdriver. We have a larger one down here which is the same type of deal just with a little bit of an extra grip. Another nice thing about the GC's if we can get just the right light there you go. You can see where they put a little bit of texturing and knurling at the back of their handles, and that's always been nice. Gives you a little bit of extra control. And then we just have various types of drivers here. We have slot heads. We have inverse type like this, which drives a post rather than just driving a slot head. And these are kind of nice because they just have an integrated handle. Uh, the deal with this roll-up pouch is they kind of have to be organized offset like this Otherwise all the handles bunch up and make this whole pouch uh, Really lopsided and that's why I was going to mention is when it comes to these kind of tools the pouches are nice normal screwdrivers Not so much, but with these it's real important to keep them organized and you never know exactly what type you're gonna end up using now all these stems here are the same type of deal where they're screwdrivers where they have like this one's a double ended where it has the post excuse me or the slot this one has it where it's protruding a little bit and the deal with these is it actually comes with this little handle and so you can use these as just finger drivers but if you can't get enough torque what's really nice is they have this little handle and you can put them in this handle and it has a little set screw and so now you can drive them so it's an interchangeable handle screwdrivers and that's some uh, you've seen various types, but none that were quite like this, where just a acetate handle or a nylon or whatever this is made out of uh, is interchangeable. And I thought that was actually a genius idea because it saves you a little bit of money. And sometimes it's too tight to have a handle, and sometimes you need the handle, and so it's nice to have that as an option. And that's what the rest of these bits for is they're just either recessed or protruding tips like these, various different lengths, so that you can get into the whatever type of space that you really need to get into. And of course they have a stubby one here that just has a permanently attached handle and a screwdriver to adjust the set screw. So that's just about it for the review of this GC alignment tool set. We'll show how it rolls up because I do really appreciate it on this one. Um, it's really nice just to have be able to take these, roll them up, and then they came with a nice cloth strap to tie them together. Once again, thank you so much for watching uh, Catus Maximus Review. Uh, please subscribe. Bye.